I've got a standard incandescent test light and the question is whether these things are safe around delicate circuits and automotive modules. At 12 volts, this incandescent test light draws 275 milliamps. And at 5 volt reference, would draw 170 milliamps. And something else that we should suspect is that at first contact, there would be a spike. And to be able to test for that, we're going to go right on the vehicle and we're going to bring our uh, OSC 2002 oscilloscopes and we're going to set that up. I've secured this one ohm resistor to the negative terminal of the battery. So it's in series here with the test light as it lights up. And the oscilloscope will measure the voltage drop across that one ohm resistor. So if we get one volt drop, that means that there's one amp going through the circuit. So we're getting 270 millivolts, which means that the circuit is carrying 270 milliamps. I've set a trigger and I've got the scope in single trigger mode. Let's see if we can capture the instant that the light makes contact here. So we're looking at two volts, which means that there was two amps of current in the circuit. And it lasted for at least six milliseconds where it was over one amp. So that's quite a spike. There's an alternative to the incandescent test lights and that's these LED type. And at 12 volts, it only draws 21 milliamps. At a five volt reference voltage, it's only six milliamps. Now does LED replace incandescent? Not at all. The incandescent is really your go-to 90% uh, of the time. Uh, you can power things with that and you can't do that with LED. But around delicate stuff, for the cost of these, why not be on the safe side? Talk to you guys soon.